sketchbook 10. The first big sketchbook I use. Um, if you saw my last video, you'll see the size comparison, but this is bigger than A4. Um, it's quite big. You can see my hand for comparison. Yeah, it's the same brand as the last sketchbook. Um, I'll put that on the screen again. Uh, so I've just put some stickers on it again, but this time I've doodled over it as well because I just wanted a busy sketchbook. I'll put the name on the screen of who the stickers belong to. This one, of course, no, this one and this one is mine. And then this is just a little doodle of my tiger, Dijkstra, who he, he comes into play in this book. Yeah, so the sketchbook 10, I've put the dates here of when I completed it. This one took a fair amount of time, I remember. Um, I felt like I was on it for quite a while. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I've just drawn Kara here, introducing, I guess, the book. Um, and then over here is just some labels and tags from when I bought from artists that I just thought looked nice. Uh, these, <laughs> these Batman stickers are actually from my birthday cake. Oh, and then this is the proper title page. Um, up here you can see I did a little rough planning and then I just went in and painted it in acrylic um, and I kind of like how it turned out. This um, book is when I think I experiment with Carver and my OCs the most. Yeah, um, when I experiment with them the most and change their outfits and just get a better idea of what I want to do with them. Yeah, so we've got some more Zombie Wrench, which is where I ended off the last sketchbook, I think. I was still in a um, Watch Dogs zombie mood. <laughs> um, it was suggested by one of you, actually, in a prompt thing. And then this page, I was rereading the Throne of Glass series. I still haven't actually finished that series, not even the first time. Um, but I was really enjoying it. I got a bit burnt out and I stopped reading it, but um, I just really liked this line from Air of Fire, which is one of my favourites in the series. So I wanted to give it a try, try drawing it. I'm not a huge fan of how they turned out. I'm not very good at drawing my version of book characters. I just struggled to how I see them in my head. And then this was um, just a random OC that I came up with that um, I kind of forgot existed. His name's Darius, a boy. Um, he's meant to be like a kind of pompous royal, but he um, he fights as well. I, I don't really know what I'd class him as. Um, and then this page is when I got Watch Dogs Legion, which was honestly kind of a disappointing game. I kind of dropped it. Uh, and then this is supposed to be just a little doodle of me. Um, I cut my hair off. I think it was during um, lockdown. Um, I just decided to cut it all off. I made a mess of it, but I really liked it being short, actually. This is my character from Divinity 2. My brother and I decided to play it, um, and it was a lot of fun. We didn't finish it because we got a bit burnt out. We played most of the game in a couple of days, and we were doing like everything, all the side quests. So we kind of had to take a break, and we haven't come back to it since. Um, but yeah, this is my character. I really like her. Um, she's a lizard, obviously, <laughs> but um, I just, I just really liked her. She was pretty, and I think I made her. Scottish or Irish, I don't remember. And then this is Kara. I actually turned this into a sticker. I was quite happy with how the gun came out because I'm not the best at drawing guns, so <laughs> that's that's quite good. Um, and then Caesar. I think I made I made that into a sticker as well. Yeah, and then messing around with Desmond and Nikolai. Uh, and I think this I was trying to uh, come up with like a logo 
for static wool and I was leaning into the chic part of it um, so I did a ram skull and it's horrible it, it really doesn't look it looks horrible but yeah I was re-watching the Star Wars prequels and I was really enjoying them so I had to draw them obviously and with beautiful neon pink yeah so here's some more with Obi-Wan's beautiful cape and then some more Carver and Caesar and this is when I, I gave her a skirt and I know that sounds simple but at the time that's when I opened my eyes to oh it's my character I can dress them how I want um, because before that I was for some reason stuck in this whole you keep them in the same outfit they stay recognisable um, but yeah putting her in a skirt I was like I can do what I want I'll dress her how I want um, and I also quite like how it turned out. Uh, yeah, so this is her band. So we've got Kara, who's the lead singer. Caesar, who's on guitar. Don't ask me which one, I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> Nikolai's on drums, and then Greta is on like the keyboard um, organs or whatever. Uh, this is the page I created her on, um, because I was like, oh, I need to have a fourth member. Because I wanted to, it, this is supposed to kind of look like that Gorillaz album. I guess in theory it does. But yeah, this is when I made her up. And I actually, I love her design. She's supposed to be like a necromancer, which is why she's got a, a dead cat <laughs> named Arius. Um, here's just, I think I was doing more Marvel, going through another Marvel phase, which seemed to happen quite a lot. Um, so we've got. Steve and Thor and Loki. I actually quite like how this Loki turned out. Um, I'd never been able to draw Loki up to this point. They always turned out um, looking like someone else. So I was quite happy with how that turned out. And then that's Cookie from Animal Crossing. Uh, and then this is just some weird thing. I'd seen people drawing with coloured pencil and then inking it and I wanted to try something like that but this isn't my style at all and I hate how it turned out so it's meant to be my Animal Crossing character but I hate it. And then here's some more Marvel. We've got Groot who I really like how he turned out as well as Rocket. Um, and then some Bucky and my attempt at Scott and Star-Lord. Um, and then this um, I was playing Tales of Vesperia, I think, um, yeah, and I just wanted to draw these two. I can't remember their names, I think he's Raven or, or something, but this this guy, I have no idea. I think I just called him Anime Hair Guy, <laughs> honestly, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and then just some more, Greta, and messing around with um, animal skeletons. And then this page is, I was asking on my... Instagram stories what people wanted to see uh, so yeah I just got a couple people um, what's his name is it Stein from um, Soul Eater this guy from Psyche K or, or whatever uh, this is someone's OC and so is this uh, I've put their names here um, and I'll put them up on the screen as well um, <laughs> the Pringles man Punisher and this character from a game I saw like loads of people I followed were playing at one point. I, I didn't play it so I have no idea what it's called, I cannot remember. Yeah and then someone else's OC, I think that's Jolene from Jojo. <laughs> Mark and Ethan, they look kind of creepy. Geralt, Mike Wazowski is like a cute little baby. <laughs> Thor and Loki and Beachwear, someone else's OC, uh, these two as well, Captain America's ass. <laughs> someone asked me for a face reveal, so that's what I did. Um, Cullen, another OC, more OCs. Um, someone said Toad in a Halloween costume, or just in a costume. Um, so I didn't, I just did Creepy Toad and a Toad. <laughs> um, Wrench with a puppy and more OCs. They were really cool to draw. Um, just the whole look of them. 
was really fun, just a muscular woman. It's always fun to draw. Uh, yeah, and then some One Piece Zoro in acrylic. I kind of like how this turned out. It's also kind of funky in a weird way. And then this is my Desert OC. Um, I was just revamping him, coming up with what I actually want him to look like. I really like this one. His face from the side just looks exactly how I want it to look. His hand's a bit big, but we can ignore that. Um, and this as well. Um, this was just getting an idea of what his hat and clothes looked like. Yeah, uh, just some more roughing out what they looked like. And then these were just planning out for this, which it's kind of a redraw of one of my older ones. But it's also not, and I prefer the older one, honestly. This looks a bit... It is what it is. Oh yeah, also, sorry for the glare. I, I have a light up here because it's a bit of a moody day. Yeah, I actually turned him into a model at one point. I uh, struggled with it a bit, but it came out kind of cute. Um... A bit messy I struggled with his eyes and I had to keep redoing them so right now he's just got these globs of glue on that I was gonna paint black but I never bothered but um, otherwise I think he's kind of cute it, he, his tail took forever it's kind of terrifying so here's some more Marvel um, I think this was after I'd watched Ragnarok again um, so, yeah, um, uh, and then this uh, is Higgs from Death Stranding, I'm not sure what brought this on again, maybe I was watching someone, he's one of my favourite characters, Troy Baker, yeah, so I like how this gold turned out. Just put this here to fill a gap, this has nothing to do with anything, but here's a little bit more, um, and this painting down here, I struggled with his teeth but I kind of like it, it's like a weird messy, like it, get, it gets the idea across, um, just more sketches. And then this is when Cyberpunk came out, you know I was excited for that. Um, so yeah, I had to do some drawing, obviously. So we've just got my um, female V and River, who I love, he's one of my favourites, as well as Johnny. Um, and then there's just, there's a lot of cyberpunk uh, coming up. Yeah, I drew River down here um, because I'd been reading some people ha didn't like him, which was really annoying me because their reasoning for liking him was just because he was a cop, which is like, bleh. and then this is just another joke. Yeah, and then, so I beat the game. <laughs> And then I made a male V, who I love, he's my favourite. I basically just made him the same as the um, trailer male V, but I made him look better. This one is it, messy, but I, I love this one of him. Um, and now, oh, I really want to draw him again now. I might have to. And then this is just a, <laughs> it's Jackie, it's supposed to be dressed in like a Santa thing because it was coming up to Christmas. Um, yeah. Oh, and this is one of my favourites as well. I really like how this turned out. This was just a group portrait of V with Kerry, Pan Am and Johnny, which I really liked, but I think this is what then spurred on my love for Kerry, honestly. I draw Kerry and V a lot, <laughs> but I just, I love them. Uh, yeah, so here's just some more. I drew this on Christmas Day, um, and this down here, I was so annoyed, I didn't realise at the time I got Kerry's tattoos backwards, so that's annoying. Uh, and then this is just a silly joke, because in one of the side missions, Kerry's all dressed up to be incognito, so I was just making fun of the fact that <laughs> my V probably wouldn't realise it was him, um, which is stupid, but... Yeah, and then this is just um, from a screenshot of Kerry and the the girls from that band. I can't remember what they're called. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think here I was starting to fizzle out, which is why the page looks so bland. Um, that's this is the Netwatch guy from one of the missions as well, and then I was just drawing my V um, here and here, but I accidentally made it look like he's holding a gun to his crotch. <laughs> uh, and then this is a painting of the girl from Clouds, I think. Um, I just thought she was really pretty, um, so I spent the most time on her face, and then the rest of it I just gave up. <laughs> I think it took me quite a while so that's why I just couldn't be bothered um, and I just um, inked it with pen. Yeah here's some more V. I was trying to do it with colour but don't like how it turned out. And then Rogue and Young Kerry. Uh, and then I made an OC to be set in the cyberpunk world. I named him Reese. And then this was just supposed to be a little comic of what happened to his face. He's like missing an eye and he's covered in scars because of a, uh, I think, I think I made this guy meant to be like a cyber psycho or whatever. So he just got attacked. And I quite like him, honestly. I gave him a mullet, which I've come to love. I love mullets now. <laughs> so here's him. And this is just, I had a bunch of post-it notes that I didn't want to waste. Um, so I used leftover paint on them. There's a few more later in the book as well. But then I didn't know what to do with them. So just colourful eye. <laughs> Which I actually quite like, but it is like the standard thing. And this, I was redrawing. a really old drawing that I have somewhere. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but if I find it, I will put it up on the screen. But um, basically I really hated how it turned out. Yeah, I was really annoyed. So, I covered it up. Um, and this is, was me experimenting with gouache again. Uh, so I did Cara. Um, and I hate, I hate it. It doesn't help that the base sketch wasn't exactly how I liked it either, how I wanted it to be. So I was just set up to fail. Um, also, I still didn't really know how to use gouache. Um, and then we've got Dorian and Cullen. I've regressed. <laughs> um, yeah, and here's just a bit more. We've got Iron Ball, which I actually really like how that turned out. Even now, it still looks really nice. Um, Cullen, Creme. This was supposed to be me again. Varric that I doodled on a post-it note, so I wanted to stick it in. And then this was just... I drew this first. It was Varric patching up Hawk. Uh, and then I drew this to explain like what happened, so... It's just a silly little comic. Oh, this is a comic I did that I haven't posted anywhere. So this is the first time I've shown it. It's to prove that um, Kara, Kara's band is a band, it's real. So, you know, it's just people lining up outside, which was a lot of fun, just drawing their silhouettes. I've got a cat boy there. <laughs> and then just some people being like, yay, music, and this is them playing. Yeah, I actually spent a lot of time on this, but I just wasn't wasn't very happy with how it turned out. Um, and I don't mind it now, like it's kind of cool, but at the time I just was kind of stumped with what to do with it. Some more cyberpunk. <laughs> um, this is cute, I thought um, it's just Kerry introducing V to the other band members. And that's another post-it note I. Oh, I actually really like how that turned out. Um, it was just a random costume from the game. I think honestly I was looking at the jacket, but I liked how the whole thing looked in general. And then this is based on that um, meme, I think it was a meme picture. Um, I think it was of those two dudes in Egypt when they had snow. Um, and I just wanted to draw <laughs> Kerry attacking Johnny. <laughs> Um, and I like how it turned out. Um, some of the proportions are off, but honestly, I think it, I think it's fine. Uh, and then these were just a few more of the weird costumes that my V was wearing because it's, it was one of those games where it's either you go for fashion and you have terrible armor, or you go for what you know the good armor and you look like this. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to draw some of them. 
Um, and then this is um, Russell Adler, I think his name is, from Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, I think. Um, I don't have the game, and I haven't even seen a full playthrough of it, but I'd seen him circulating on my Tumblr, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> I like him. So I had to do some fan art for him, and I, and I watched a bit of of some playthroughs. And it's funny because I'm I'm in a Call of Duty mood again right now. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, but anyway, I I really like how this painting turned out. It's using acrylic, um, and I just had a lot of fun um, trying to make his scars look like like they were actually changing the shape of his face. You know, you know, like really deep scars. That was just a lot of fun. I might repaint it at some point just because because I really like it. <laughs> yeah, so here's just a couple more. There's another post-it note on my, Um And that's meant to be me again. Uh, and then this is from when I was reading Holly Black's Modern Fairy Tales, the, the, like, the big one. I think it's a trilogy of them. Yeah, this is Roybin because... I was really enjoying that book. It, it's a very long book. Like I said, it's three stories. I, I really wanted to get an idea of what he looked like. Um, I'm, I'm not really happy with how these turned out. I could do them again if I could be bothered. And this is just um, trying to figure out what his armor looks like because it sounds, just the description. It was really hard to figure out what she meant. But this is what I tried. Here's some more, trying to figure out what his armour is. Honestly, I quite like how this turned out. Again, I don't think it would be very practical, but it definitely looks like something you might see a fairy or, or someone from that world wearing. And then this is K, um, which I quite like how that turned out. Um, and then this was just a scene from when he's first introduced in the book. Um, and I don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like how this looks, but here's some more cyberpunk. <laughs> um, I wanted to just draw some wholesome stuff between V and Kerry, so there's just this little comic, uh, I guess a silent comic, I don't know what you call them when they have no speech bubbles, <laughs> um, but yeah, V's just lighting two cigarettes at once, because he's I only got one hand free because the other is holding hands with Carrie. Um, lighting a cigarette for both of them. Yeah. So sweet. Don't smoke. It's bad for you. But it looks cool. <laughs> but don't do it. Um, yeah, and then this is when I got into Genshin. I, the, it's all, it all looks very weird because it's all very conflicting. I was like, do I lean into the anime look? Do I try and lean more into my style? And it kind of, you get this weird mix that I'm not happy with. Honestly, this is probably my favorite drawing from the whole Genshin thing that I do. Um, but yeah, you've just got people, I, I'm not gonna bother saying their name. I'm gonna get it wrong. Um, and that's just embarrassing. Yeah, this is, watercolour I think. Um, if it wasn't for how his face looked I'd like it. I quite like how his hair turned out here. I've dropped Genshin since. It's not for me but um, I can appreciate the characters designs. They all look amazing. And then this was just I was trying to make a character an OC in the world but it just doesn't work. My style doesn't work for that game. Yeah so here's just more of my favourite this is a random vampire girl that I was going to do something with and then just never did. Honestly, she kind of reminds me of that vampire that I did with the military dude. Um, and then this is just a weird hand painting. I had an idea to do it and I did it. And this is when I got my pos uh, Posca, my Uhuhu markers for the first time. Um, I had like a couple Copic markers when I was younger. Um, back when I used to use like step-by-step um, -step manga books <laughs> but um, this was really my first time properly trying to use alcohol markers so yeah this this isn't my initial experiment um, 
I hate how this turned out. It was also because I didn't actually know what I wanted to draw and I didn't have a colour theme in mind so now you've just got this disgusting muddy shirt. But I like how this Cara turned out, especially the jeans because I, I used like a black marker and then just left bits of it white um, and I just really like how it, it turned out. It gives it more of like a shiny leather look so I don't actually know what the, the trousers are made of um, but I just really like how it looks. And here I was doing the same thing again. Um, I actually turned this one into a draw this in your style. But yeah, here again I was just like, oh I like how the jeans turned out, let's just try it black and white. Um, and I put her hand out like this and I had no idea what to do with her hand. So I was like, oh let's just give her a tiger, I guess. So I drew a tiger in. Um, and that's how Dijkstra, the tiger, came to be. Um, and yes, he is named after the Witcher character. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just really like that name and I kind of like the character, he's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, these are just some more doodles. And then this is just a cute little Posca. Um, and then Desmond with Dijkstra as a baby. And then this is Darius with Caesar. And then my Desert OC with my Genshin OC. Um, just messing around. Uh, yeah, and this is... Um, I was re-watching the Resident Evil films. And, you know, they're not, they're not that great. But they were my first introduction into Resident Evil when I was younger. Um, so, yeah, this is Nikolai from, I think, the second film. And I might even have been drawing it. I think the Resident Evil 3 remake might have just come out and I was like kind of shocked at how different the Nikolai in the game was to the Nikolai I knew because obviously this is the only one that I knew. Um, I quite liked him. Um, but obviously the game one, the original game one came out first so, you know, he was actually sticking true. Um, to his character. But yeah, um, so this is Leon <laughs> from number two remake, which I love and I still want to get, but I'd been watching um, Real Time Fan Dub, which is, they, they're hilarious, you should go watch them if you haven't watched them or heard of them. But yeah, um, so I was just writing down quotes from their video on Resident Evil 2, um, and then this is... Um, I made like a comic <laughs> on one scene in particular. I think Ada might have been my favourite character from their video. Yeah, and then I watched that Resident Evil film that I always forget the name of. So I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> um, but Chris and Leon in that film are like, it's the perfect version of them. For me personally, at least, I love those that version of them. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Babyface Leon, but um, this drawing is terrible. But that Leon <laughs> is one of the best ones. And then here I was watching a film that I can't remember the name of. It, I think it, it's a vampire film, um, and it, it wasn't amazing. It was odd and a bit slow. But I loved his character, who whose name I can't remember. It might be Bill Paxton. I'll cut that out if it's not. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's another post-it note I and Kara wearing his jacket because I was like, I really like that jacket. <laughs> this is, I was trying to come up with an easy style that I didn't have to worry about, that it's like what I doodle in so that I don't have to stress like about anatomy or if it looks good. And then this was redrawing the graveyard bash OCs in like some weird 60s or 70s or whatever fashion. It, it doesn't look good. I don't like this page. And these colours, ugh. This is just more messing around with um, simple style with some black paper. And then this is messing around with Ohuhu markers again. Uh, it looks kind of weird, but you know what? It's okay. And then this was messing around with black paper again. I didn't post this anywhere either because uh, it didn't turn out right. As I was drawing it, I was like, this isn't working. 
so I kind of gave up on it. I was trying to draw Caesar in a simple style as well, but I just, it didn't work out. I don't like how it looks. Um, and then this, um, experimenting with what his hair would look like um, if he didn't style it is alright. And then here, I believe, is when I was watching Critical Role 99 campaign for the first time. I'm still slowly making my way through their campaign, but it's just like something that I turn on every now and then, usually when I can't sleep. Yeah, I just really like the characters. Then this was messing around with Kara and Caesar again. And these two are from if they were in a like fantasy world. But yeah, this is um, Markers again. I don't really like how it looks. Or this, I don't like how this looks either. <laughs> and this is just a cute painting of Deepstra. He's in the car with Kara, because why not? You take your tiger everywhere. And then Mass Effect <laughs> mood hit again. So I drew this. I think this is the third time I drew, I've redrawn this. And this is my favorite. It might even be the last time I've drawn it. I don't think I've drawn it since. <laughs> but um, yeah. Garrus is always impossible to draw. I still struggle so much with him. He's like, what is he? <sighs> Can't draw him. I like how Jack turned out. Um, and then this was um, one of my Instagram followers wanted to see Jake from Resident Evil. So I just quickly drew him and then like beautiful um, tyrant. Is that his name? <laughs> What's his name? From um, Resident Evil 3. But he's beautiful. Ah. Uh, using Poscas on black paint. Um, so then, And then I just jumped back into um, Mass Effect. Yeah, <laughs> this was a attempting Garrus again. Better than the other one. I think using the Poscas and being able to just paint over it um, helped a lot. And then this is my Shepherd, Vega and Caden, some more, Vega, uh, and then this was planning, um, this is Kara, trying to plan a um, sculpture that I wanted to make of her, that I did make, um, I just gave up on painting it, let, let me grab it, when it came to painting her, it just looks terrible, like, make, sculpting her was a lot of fun and I love how her shoes came out but um her face is a bit funky I'm kind of I like it and I don't like it she's hidden away on, in a box under my bed but um yeah that's what the drawing's for and then just a painting of Jack uh, and then this is some more Kara with a bit of Greek vibes because I think this is when I was getting into Hades. This is cute. I really like this. Um, and then these were plans for um, a bookmark that I didn't make. This was messing around with Caesar again and this is a weird blue Caesar. And then this is Hades. <laughs> well this is um, Zagreus but it's when I got Hades and I really love how this whole page turned out honestly. This was using Ohuhu markers with Posca background and I just love how he turned out. And then I've got um, Dionysus just chilling in the back because he was so cool, I love him. And Sleepy Boy, Hip Hypno I think. This is a watercolor of, is it something like Eurydice? Eurydice, <laughs> the tree girl. <laughs> um, and then the Minotaur in Ohuhu markers. I absolutely love how his horns turned out. That's like, I'm so proud of how they turned out. It's so simple, but it's just my favorite part of like a lot of these things in my book. That's one of my favorite parts. Um, the rest of him's all right. Um, I like how his head turned out, but um, yeah. This is the Furies. That's what they are, isn't it? Using Posca on black paper. Um, it came out a bit weird, but I do also like the style. I was using a blue pen as line art, and I just really like how it looks um, with the colours. It's It gives it all a similar tone, um, and honestly I think 
she's probably my favourite. She came out the best, um, probably because she has the most space. Um, and she came out the worst, because I had no idea what to do for her face. And this, I was trying to do alcohol markers for Dionysus, um, and I just didn't like how it turned out. Um, it's alright, it's just, it's not alright actually, it's terrible. Yeah, I don't like it, so I'm gonna leave it covered up. Yeah, and then Caron, who I love. He's amazing, he's one of my favourites. Here I made up some two new random OCs that you'll then never see again after this little bit in my book. They've disappeared. <laughs> um, I just thought they were cute. And these doodles were really fun and I like how they turned out. Yeah, they're Leo and Simon, but I don't remember who's who. I think this is really cute. And that one, and that one. I just really like the, the simple ones. And here is some more Final Fantasy, I almost called it Resident Evil. I was playing through the 7 remake again, um, because I love that game so much. And there's these little Posca ones that I was messing around with that I'm not so keen on. And then here is Barrett with his daughter, who I can't remember the name of. Um, it looks weird. The arms are just wrong. And I'm not sure how he'd be holding her up with his gun, but you know. Um, and then Roach, I think his name is. He had a really tiny cameo in that game. Well, not even a cameo, just a moment. He was fun, although a bit ridiculous and honestly a bit pointless. But I like his hair. Oh. And this is the end of the book. This is the last page. I wanted to... Honestly, I think I kind of gave up. So I drew... Kara, Hans, and Greta. I think this is the first time I draw Hans. I just made him up. They're siblings. Yeah, I just drew them in these clothes, but then I realised that these two are actually wearing almost exactly the same outfit. I just got lazy. But yeah, I painted the background, so now this page sticks together. And then for some reason I put, you ate it all, now go home. I was just really done with this book, I think. Um, and then we've got this this mess. We've got um, swatches as well as thumbnails, or, or I think I was figuring out the colours for that Cara piece. Um, Zagreus, a really weird post-it note. I. And then what's in here? Yeah. So then this is a redraw painting of that jungle piece uh, of my OCs that I did in the other book and then this was just a Pokemon drawing on a motorbike <laughs> uh, and then I was gonna do something with this it's just Kara oh yeah this is just a thank you card from an artist I bought from Lani Levendula and this is also a thank you from Sibeline just some paper uh, this was <laughs> I tried drawing Garrus. I think this might even be a tracing because I was like, how the hell do I draw him? And sometimes tracing things can give you an idea of the shape. So then um, I use the tracing as reference because it's I've already broken down the shapes into the like really simple shapes. But like it, <laughs> I, even tracing him, I had no idea. Like, what is this? It looks terrible. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Some more really thin paper. Uh, these are like, it's like a sticker sheet you get with this book that you're supposed to use like to stick on the book, like the front page and the spine that I never use. This is planning for that Resident Evil comic. This is a print from this artist. I'll put the name on the screen. I've got two copies of this. <laughs> so one of them's up on my wall and then this one's just in my book. And then this was a printing of that Cara piece I did. More roughing out that Graveyard Bash comic. Uh, tracings so that I keep the line art. Yeah, that's it. Whew. That was a lot. <laughs> so that was sketchbook uh, 10. 
got this one next, which is significantly smaller. Um, also hate it, but you'll find that out in the next one. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I think this was a long video. Um, I'll try and cut it down as much as possible, but if you've watched the whole thing, thank you. Um, and depending on when I post this, Merry Christmas? Or whatever it is you celebrate.